All right, so we just have a little bit of information to finish up as we're finishing up our tile blocks. So a few things we're going to talk about today is making changes to document properties in our drawing template, uh, how to save the sheet format, how to define the tile block area down here in the bottom, and then uh, set anchors. So set an anchor for any table that we insert into SOLIDWORKS, including bill and materials tables. So what I've done so far is I just went up and hit open. I changed my files to type to a template and I open my skills national drawing dot drw dot so that drawing template that we've been working on so then the first thing in here is setting anchors so once I get this drawing open I'm going to right click go to edit sheet format and I can click on any point and I can set it as an anchor for a table so our bill materials that we were working on the other day it started at the bottom and then went up so one was at the bottom and then two, three, four were above it. So I'm gonna select this lower left-hand corner and then right-click, come on up to set as anchor, and that's gonna be my bill and materials anchor. You can see how you can also set anchors for all the tables in SOLIDWORKS. So I'll select bill and materials there. So now when I insert a bill and materials and I check the box attached to anchor, that's the point it's going to attach to. All right, then the next thing is defining my title block. So if I right click anywhere in my graphics area and then select title block fields. So this information is anything that I want to just be able to double click on this title block directly and edit that information. So the way we've got our title block set up, pounds automatically inserts, material automatically inserts, so does scale and sheet number, contestant number and contestant initials. So the only thing that doesn't automatically update is this drawing name. So I'm going to select that piece of text and then hit my green check mark. And that's going to make this so that when I insert this to use it, I can just double click directly on that and I can just type in information there. The other part of that defining our tile block. So if you go ahead and right click again, go to tile block fields. The other part of that is this rectangle. So this rectangle probably showed up to be very large. And so what happens is, Anywhere that you double click inside of this, it's going to edit that text. And so I'm just going to resize this so that it's smaller, just so it covers up just the portion that's got that text in it. And then hit my green check mark. So that's editing our tile block information there. So then the last two things is just taking a look at document properties and saving the sheet format. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and exit this sheet format. It takes me back to just my drawing template level. So to access document properties, you come up to this little gear, click on that gear, and then go to document properties. And so you need to make changes in here to match that example that I gave you that you're trying to copy. And so you might have to make changes in places like dimensions. So if you click on dimensions, you can change the font, you can expand out dimensions, and you can change very specifically for how your diameter dimensions are shown, how linear dimensions are shown, radius dimensions are shown, and so forth. Now you also have annotations. So you've got an annotation section as well as balloons and notes and things underneath that. So any changes you make here are saved with the template. So then the last thing is we'll go ahead and save our template. So we'll just click on save. That saves those changes back to our template. So then the other thing is to save our sheet format. So our sheet format is just this title block area. So the sheet formats, there's a very specific way to save them, and there's only one way to save them. You can't use Save As to save a sheet format. You have to go up to File and click directly on Save Sheet Format. It takes me to right where all my other sheet formats are saved. So I'll just specify a name, such as Skills National Tabloid, since this is a B-size sheet or a tabloid, tabloid size sheet. I'll say Skills National Tabloid. And then I'll hit save. I've already got that one defined, so I'll just hit yes. I do want to replace it. Now, any drawing template that I open, I can then load this format into it. So those were the few things I wanted to go over today, is how to set anchors, how to define your tile block area, how to save the sheet format, and how to make adjustments to document properties. So thanks for listening, and good luck.